Hi there, Karen here again. And I'm starting off today. Um, I don't know what photo I'm going to be scrapping. So I'm, I'm using this uh, Vicky Booten stamp and die set. Um, it came in the colour kit of the June hip kit. And I've just bought the June hip kit just as on its own. Um, I don't subscribe at the moment, but I really like the look of the June kit. So I bought the, the main kit and the colour kit. Um, and I've found in, in the colour kit it had the this uh, stamp and die set. So I thought I'd get going and, and have some fun with it because uh, I had a lot of fun on the last layout I did um, which coincidentally also had some Vicky Bootin um, items in it which were very similar um, but that was the sticker set and I was had fun painting those so this time I'm going to be stamping um, the flowers the roses and these other pretty flowers I don't know what they are um, and first of all I'm using um, this is one I had in my stash it's a little pot of sort of a silvery blue paint which you just add water to and it's by Cosmic Shimmer. I've had it for years, um, I've used it quite a lot, it's one of my favourites um, and I've used it on quite a lot of layouts over the years so um, I thought I'd start off with that one, um, just colouring in, um, painting these flowers, um, just, I mean I'm not doing anything fancy, just, um, just colouring them in. Um, so that's the first lot finished and I'm just going to die. As you can see, I um, I did try stamping some um, earlier, but my stays on stamp is, uh, ink is clearly running out. So I need to get a new one. So I found this other old one in uh, this other one in my stash, this little little tiny square pot of ink. So I thought that that's using that and that seems to work quite well. So now starting to use one of the uh, paints that came in the colour kit for the, for June. It's a uh, shimmers paint um, and it's called Going Peach Side. It's really pretty. It's got that sort of um, sort of sparkle in it or shine in it. It's um, and you need to give it a mix up. But it, this one you don't need to add anything any water to. It's it's quite liquid um, and it does it is a bit thick at the bottom. So you just have to stir it up a bit. But it ends up being really a beautiful shiny peachy colour. So I really like that, and so I used that to colour in all those um, stamps. And then I'm breaking out the other one that came in the kit. Uh, that's also a Shimmers, and this one's called Pinko de Mayo, um, which is a slightly uh, like a dusky pink, I suppose you might call it. So that's a really also a really pretty colour. So I'm having lots of fun. I actually spent practically a whole afternoon. Um, just stamping and, and colouring in with all these uh, these products, um, some of which were already in my stash. I did break a few one, few out that I'd had uh, before and never used. Um, so I'm now cutting them out, and I've realised that actually when they've dried, this blue has gone a very silvery colour. It's lost a lot of the blue. And they just so happened that there was another item in the colour kit this month, which is a Vibes spray, and it's called Frostbite, which was a lovely blue. So I thought perhaps I can, you know, bring out the blue a bit more on these um, on these flowers. So it's got a quite a nice shine to it. It's got a silverish sheen to it. But I just used that blue uh, vibe spray to just with a paintbrush just to bring out a little bit more blue um, around the around the flower. Just kind of doing a little bit along the middle there, just to give it a bit of shading and make it look a bit more blue. And now I'm using the the dyes uh, that came with the kit. Uh, with my little um, little sidekick there, and just um, I'm just cutting out all the flowers that I've been painting. You see, it cuts it out rather beautifully with just a little white edge, but that's fine. I don't mind that. And I've got all of those still to do, so there we are. They're all being cut out, um, and I'm just going to cut out one more. So there's enough dyes for the three, three of the flowers and the roses. Um, but not for the, you can see I've um, also stamped and coloured in some butterflies and some leaves. There isn't a die for those, so I'm going to have to hand cut those. But um, I'm using, I think that one is another very similar colour, but it's one that was in a, <clears throat> a colour kit a while ago. It's a creamies rather than a shimmers, and it's called grapefruit. So it's a similar colour, it's a sort of peachy, peachy, corally colour, but it hasn't got the shine to it. So I thought I'd use that. Just to try it out because I haven't used it very much and I'm just having fun. I spent hours painting um, on this. It was a Friday afternoon and I think it was last week. And I just spent the whole afternoon stamping and painting and cutting out. And I had so much fun. I haven't done anything like that before. 
and I really enjoyed myself. I will actually get around to doing a layout very shortly and I will use most of them on the layout. Here we go. So they're all cut out, ready to go. Um, and now I'm going to start the layout. So I've got that little photo of Alyssa. She's wearing a cute little blue um, baby suit with, I think it's pinky ready flowers on it. So I thought I needed to get a bit of blue on my background to bring out the blue in her outfit. Um, so I'm just painting on to, this is some basil cardstock. It's the marshmallow one that doesn't really need any gessoing. So I've mixed together a couple of acrylic paints, some white and some blue. And now I'm putting a bit more of the white on because I thought the blue was a little bit too too strong so I'm just trying to knock it back a little bit with the white just uh, just going over the top there and that's all dry and now I'm going to do a little bit of um, use a bit of uh, molding paste um, and mixing that with a little bit of the white acrylic paint as I've been doing lately to bring out the white in the colour and there's a little mask there which is actually called bubble burst and this is all about Alyssa blowing bubbles so I thought the bubble burst um, mask would be quite appropriate so I thought I'd use that I um, don't think I've used that one before it's a quite a small one and I make a bit of a mistake a bit of a fail um, because as I lifted it up it sort of um, moved a bit and I just squidged them all all the, so I'm just kind of flattening them down a bit. Can't really see it that, but this doesn't look that obvious, and it looks fine once it's dried. It just um, it just shifted as I moved, as I lifted it up, and just um, smudged some of the some of the bubbles a bit. So I'm just going to add some more of these uh, bubbles going down the side of the page, and I'm going to do one more set. There we go, just scraping off the odd bits. One more set at the bottom. So uh, there we are. So I'm going to put that aside to dry, and so I'm now going to do some backing on my photo. So I'm going through. This is the all the papers that came in the June kit. I'm just flicking through them, partly to, to show you what's in the kit, so you can see. And it's really pretty. It's lovely, pastely colours, and I thought it would be really a nice kit to use um, for doing pictures of 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 Alyssa or or anybody really. But it, I quite like all the pastely colours. So I backed the photo first of all with some white tissue and then I thought I'd use this Bella Boulevard floral paper. Um, it's called My Tribe um, and I just thought it had, because I've done a lot of blue on the background and I thought this had some of the red, reddy colours in it that are also in her outfit so I thought that would bring out those bits of red. So I thought that's why I decided to use that. Uh, now I've decided to go back to my background and I've picked out my Cosmic Shimmer blue shiny um, paint, the one that you have to spray a bit of water in to get it moving. And I thought I'd just do some, some little splatters with that. So I've made it quite wet and I'm splattering up and down because then, you, then when it dries, you get that little bit of sparkle, which I do like that that one does bring into it. And I'm just, I've decided I'm going to do um, probably a, a, some sort of, uh, I'm going to do a vertical layout. And I'm going to do a bit of ruffling with some tissue. I've just cut a strip there, but I'm not going to use that straight away. I've got to put some other papers down first. And this is one of the papers. The, the, the main part of the kit, most of the papers in the kit are from the Pink Fresh Studio Simply Sweet, Simple, Simple and Sweet collection. And this is the back of the, there's some, um, sort of a bit of a cut apart sheet. And this blue and white grid was of the paper on the back and I rather like that blue because it goes well with the background and with the photo so I decided to tear a piece of that and then as well as that there are quite a few blue tickets and labels on the other side so I'm cutting a couple of those out as well which I I get to use one of those on the layout I'm just uh, that's a little ticket shape that I'm just trimming off I think that is the one I end up using on the layout And I'm just cutting out another one, just picking out the colours that, that match the background. Um, and also this paper I just thought was really, that both of these papers were really pretty. So um, as, I, as I may have mentioned on, a, on my last voiceover, I'm quite into tearing at the moment. I thought I'd do some torn strips on this layout. So I've done my first torn strip, which is the blue and white grid. 
And now I've picked out this really pretty bird paper. This one is, I think this is a, um, this is one by Illustrated Faith and it's called Fruit of the Spirit. Uh, the other side is a peach and white polka dot, but this side with the birds on, I just thought it was really pretty. And I thought that would make a nice contrasting colour scheme to go on my layout. So I'm just tearing it. I realised I'd um, torn it on the wrong side or torn or left the, initially I left the wrong side straight so I had to trim it off. So that's now going to be layered. Those two are layered together like that. And I'm just going to stick those down. And I'm going to stick that one on top and that's just a little bit longer than the other one. So I I just quite into this. Um, this is probably about the third layout I've done where I've just tearing bits off and quite having quite having fun with doing a few new things for me with uh, with all me painting and and me tearing trying some new things out and I decided this photo needed one more layer you see there's that blue again um, and I rather like the it just lightens up the whole background so I just cut that round behind the photo and I'm going to stick stick down a couple of strip, uh, torn strips. And now I'm going to use the, but get that piece of tissue that I've torn. And I'm going to do a ruffled, ruffled line along the edge of that, just to soften the edge of that paper. I'm going to ruffle it along. You'll see me just starting off. I mean, lots of people have done this. It's a, it's a great technique. It's really it's really fun to do and it's really effective. It makes a page look really soft and pretty. And you just need that uh, line of line of uh, adhesive and then you just concertina it as you go. It probably takes me a little longer to do this than it does some people, but I get there. But I won't wait you, make you watch me do the whole thing. I actually ended up having to use two lengths. It does take up a lot of, uh, quite a lot of uh, paper doing that. So it's, that's two strips of tissue sort of uh, folded there. And that's really the uh, the main, um, main design of the layout, I suppose you'd say. It's, it's not, it's nearly there. I'm just going to lift up part of the uh, photo because it's lifted up with the, uh, over a couple of layers. I'm just going to lift her up. Lift up the photo a little bit on the on the right hand side. And there where we are. It's not very easy to see, but she is actually blowing a bubble, and I will show you that at the right at the end. You can see where she's blowing a bubble, which is where all the where the title comes from and you know my uh, my idea of the bubbles on the side. She has got a little bubble coming out of her mouth, which is quite quite really cute. Um, but quite hard to see it at the moment and I'm just doing a few more splatters with that uh, cosmic shimmer blue just to give it a little bit more a little bit more cut and a bit more shine and here we go finally the flowers are coming in all these ones that I spent hours painting and cutting out the day before um, are finally getting put on the layout and I'm just going to mainly do them in a line going down the down the side of those torn strips and the uh, the bit of tissue. A lot of that tissue paper now gets covered up, of course, but that's how it goes with these things. And I'm just going to tuck in the flowers, a couple of bits around on that corner with the doily. You can see there's a doily in background. That is actually a doily I made on my, um, on my, what's it called? My silhouette, my silhouette cameo. Made a while ago. I made two or three doilies, and I put them in my packet. And uh, every now and again they'll come out. So it's, um, I just like that one. So I've used that in the background. I don't think it's stuck on yet, but it will be. There we are. I've stuck all the the, uh, the flowers down in a, a little row at the side. I'm not going to use the really pinky pink ones, the, the dusky pink ones, because the colours just didn't really work with um, with the photo. So they'll come they'll come in again for another another layout. I'm sure they'll make a reappearance. So I've stuck with the blues and the, the peachy colours because I thought they worked best with the layout. Now I'm just sticking in 
those flowers which I have hand cut. It's quite fiddly, but I was in the groove for doing cutting. I mean, obviously, a lot of those flowers were done on the dye machine, but uh, but not the leaves and not the butterflies. Those I had to do by do by hand. But I quite I quite enjoy fussy cutting. I do it quite a bit. So it wasn't a wasn't a major problem. Just a bit more tape on the back of that doily so I can stick it into into place. Using my trusty tweezers as always to pull off the the backing. And there we are. That's in place now. So now I've got, a, I've got a couple of butterflies I want to put on. Also using the same paints as I used for the flowers, with, so they've got their nice little bit of shine on them. I've, got another, I've just discovered another flower I can tuck in if, in a moment, but then I'm just going to put this second butterfly up in that corner. I do love a butterfly. don't use them all the time, but I do like them. And flowers. Um, I'm, I'm really, really into flowers these days. I've always liked flowers, but I went through a phase of not using them very much. I think they went a bit out of fashion, but I'm definitely uh, enjoying using them again in all sorts of different <coughs> styles. Excuse me. So that uh, that cut apart isn't working; it's too big. But this one here with the um, the arrow that says love, I'm actually trimming that down because it was it was big a bit big. So, um, but I'm trimming it down, and I think that'll be a good place for putting my date. I actually do that after um, I add the date after I finished filming, but you'll see it on the stills at the end that I do actually put the date on there because I had to go and look it up to remember which day this was this photo was taken. And I have one final flower that I'm going to put on the on the end of that that label. Now these are some epoxy stickers. These are also from um, from the Pink Fresh Studio um, Sim Simple and Sweet collection. So I picked out a couple that were in blue. One, um, one of them says, I think it says, "Oh, darling." I'll just check. Yes, that says, "Oh, darling," and then the, um, and then I find another one also in blue, which has got a little flower on it, which I stick it, put it, put at the top there. And now I'm going to work on the title. I've got these. Um, Pink Fresh Studio puffy stickers and this was one the blue ones are from the same collection from the Simple and Sweet and they're the bigger ones so I'm going to use that to say bubble blower and then the, the smaller ones I'll try and decide between those two colours the the peach or the orange for right for doing the where it says um, I'm going to put my little our little our little bubble blower um, and I'm going to end up using the the orange ones because the other ones are a bit too pale so I'm just working out where they're going to go. So I've put them onto some um, onto some wax paper, and now I'm using. So I've decided on these orange, these small puffy stickers, puffy alphas, should I say, to say out a little, because she actually does blow bubbles quite a lot, or she dribbles quite a lot, and then they, they end up looking like bubbles. I'm just going to just put it on the wax paper just so I can decide where I'm going to put put the letters, put the words. And it's just going to tuck in there at the top, our little bubble blower. I'm just going to stick them down. There we are, that's already, that's done. They're all stuck on. And you can see there. You see it? I know it was a bit quick, but there was a little bubble. OK, thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and uh, join me again soon. Goodbye.